we picked to purchase a yacht controller because uh, my wife wanted a larger boat than I did. And so the only way that we would be able to have that boat is, is if I could drive it from anywhere with digital controls. And uh, she's, she's petite and she has tiny little T-Rex arms, can't pull on things, so we wanted to be able to dock without fighting. And uh, it's not guaranteed to save a marriage, but it'll definitely give you better chances. We, uh, we started out with uh, adding our bow and stern thrusters, proportional, and then we basically added on the modules uh, to be able to dock uh, independently. And I can single hand a 70 plus foot boat now. Um, my wife is usually on a headset as well, uh, but headsets don't move the boat. And so we can tell, she can tell me where to go, but we, uh, we definitely do better because I can reach from anywhere. She's 180 degrees from me at all times, so if I'm on the stern, she's on the bow, and we're able to guide the boat in without any fanfare. Um, proportional thrusters also help because your friends don't know you're using your thruster, and uh, that's a thing. You don't want to be able to, your friends to say, oh, you had to use your thruster. It's kind of a, it's kind of a joke in our marina. We know when somebody comes in because their bow thruster went off. But you can set your proportional to be very quiet, very neat and easy, uh, so it gives you better, better options. Um, what else? So we, we um, have had our traditional um, yacht controller for three years now, and then DPS came out. And so we've had scenarios where we're waiting for a bridge to open, and it's just the two of us, and we need to move fenders around, and we're in the current, and there's other boats around us. And so DPS gives us that ability to still single hand without having to have my wife on a, with her head on a swivel trying to figure out how to move the boat. Um, so those two things combined have us moving into the Maximo uh, DPS module. Um, another cool thing um, is that we have in our marina um, a, a typical tradition that after fireworks go off, everyone blows their horns. And we have a massive caliber train horn on our boat, but we're not usually on our boat during the fireworks. Um, so with the remote, I can actually honk my air horn from wherever we happen to be in the marina, which is also kind of a cool feature. Um, what else? Yeah, I mean, at, at the end of the day, if you, if you don't have one, you're installing control stations all over your boat for tens of thousands of dollars. So um, this way you have one controller, move it wherever you want to be, and, um, and don't crash and don't get divorced.